We referred to Joseph before as the bread king, the one who saves the world from starvation by giving them bread. And uh, how did he become the bread king? The same way wheat becomes bread, and we've gone over this before too, but suffering, dying, resurrecting. Bread, uh, grains of uh, wheat are smashed and ground up into flour. They have to die, the grains have to die, they have to suffer. The grain that becomes flour and dough, then they, you put into fire, has to endure the fire, has to suffer, has to go through the trial of the fire, into heat, has to suffer, and then it becomes bread. Joseph suffered and figuratively dies, he comes back as king of Egypt, Jesus suffers and dies, comes back as king of heaven and earth. And if we are to have fellowship and communion with him, he's going to make us like him. Which means you're going to have false accusers like Potiphar's wife. You're going to have brothers that abandon you like Joseph and Christ did. You're going to be brought through fire. You're going to be tested like Joseph. And you will prosper. You will conquer. You will pass the test because the Lord is with you. So come and welcome to Jesus Christ.